when I'm trying to have peace and quiet and just my alone time, I like to burn some incense and clear the space of negativity and just have nice peaceful scents flowing throughout my room. And I can close the top and the smoke will just rise through the holes. Just like that. And my favorite part of my room is my bed. And of course I have Elefante here. And if you look carefully, you can see elephants in the blankets. And obviously elephants on the bed. Elephant picture and an elephant painting. I've got my Christmas tree <laughs> and my shrine to elephants and we can get into that right now. means a lot to me because Luca bought this for me on one of our first dates and I'll never forget it and I love it so much. This one I found in the Dominican and it's handcrafted, hand painted and I love it. My mom got me that and over the years I've just been collecting a bunch of them. This is an incense holder as you can see my amethyst rock and these are my favorites because it's salt they're salt and pepper shakers and they can actually come apart but I love them together and I do have a framed picture of a sloth and a pig and I have rock star stuff this is Jimi Hendrix and Kurt Cobain from Nirvana and Axl Rose up there from Guns N' Roses, and yeah. This right here is my happy table. I've got a lot of stones, rocks, a salt rock and a salt lamp. And if you guys are wondering what this is, it's a rain machine and Sounds like that. And I constantly have this going on my in my room so that I can be at peace and be calm and tranquility. And I always have this on when I'm sleeping because it helps me fall asleep. And this is my record player. And it's been around for quite some time and I love it so much. And it's gotten me through a lot. And I've got all my records in there. This is my Mandy chair with all of my musical theater stuff, all of my shirts from past shows, and all of my programs from all the shows that I've been in and have seen myself. My ballerina shoes, my jazz shoes, my theater shoes, and my tap shoes are all here. And my movie wall and this is my guitars right here and my ukulele right here and I keep that safe in the corner there hi guys so I just wanted to show you like little snippets of my room so you get an idea of what I'm all about and what I like my room to be like um, I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite things, uh, my favorite vinyls and my favorite books that I have in my room. 
And although I have a million vinyls, these are my favorites and I love them all, but these are my favorites. I'll go through them really quickly. And if you ever get a chance, listen to some of these albums that I have because they're all really good. So I have The Beatles and I have a lot of Led Zeppelins. Um, these are my favorite things to listen to. Alice in Chains Unplugged. This is one of my favorite albums of all time because um, I love Alice in Chains, but this is the MTV Unplugged album. So it's like all acoustics, like just raw live music and I love that. Elton John, you guys, I love Elton John. Um, <laughs> Literally have been obsessed with him since I was a little girl because probably because my mom my mom Used to listen to Elton John all the time. So having this vinyl is awesome. The Doors. I Love the Doors Jimi Hendrix Love Jimi Hendrix Oh, and one of my favorites, The Dark Side of the Moon Pink Album. It is so good, guys. It will give you a different perspective on everything, and it's really good. Keep in mind, guys, all of these um, artists are old, like, I'm talking, like, from the 60s, 70s, 80s time. So I get if none of you guys know at all what I'm talking about or who these people are. Just give it a listen. I know that your parents will probably know exactly who these people are, but they're really, really, really good artists and you guys should listen. Last but not least, Prince, Purple Rain. It's amazing. Give that a listen and see if you guys like any of that. So those are some of my favorite vinyls and I have so many other ones. I will show you guys my favorite books now. So I got this book from a friend. It's called A Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming. It's amazing and it's literally all about lucid dreaming and what your dreams mean and if you go lucid, how to go lucid in your dreams and also how to understand what's going on and some things that you may encounter while you're sleeping. Um, if you guys don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's actually when you're in a dream and you know that you're in a dream and you are able to take control and do whatever you want and sometimes this can be really difficult. Maybe I should make a whole nother video about lucid dreaming and um, astral projection. Guys, comment down below if you want me to make a video about lucid and astral projection, dream, all about dreams and information about that. That'll, that can just be a whole nother video that I'll do. But anyways, this book is key. I love it. It's a great book. I love Coraline. You know how much I love creepy, cool, especially like claymation. Claymation film is my favorite type of movies. They're amazing. I love Corpse Bride. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I love Coraline. So I got this book and it's actually a um, comic. Like it's in comic form and it's really cool and it's actually way creepier than the movie Ooh, the complete fairy tales of the brothers grim you guys and if you guys know the brothers grim it is so creepy like these go back a long time and this is a really thick book and you can get a really good read out of these but just beware because some of these stories are very creepy. Snow White and Rumpelstiltskin and everything like that. There's a bunch in here that, but it's not the way that you guys will remember it. It actually has a really creepy, eerie twist to it, which I love. Rapunzel's in here, Hansel and Gretel, Cinderella, The Fisherman and His Wife. Just a bunch of short stories, like a bunch of stories. So there, there are 279 grim short stories in here and it can get really creepy really fast, but this is a really good book and I love that book. This book goes back way before, like before I was in high school. It's called Falling Hard and it's 100 Love Poems by Teenagers. 
So published poems by teenagers, and I used to read this all the time, and um, it's, it's really good. Some of them are uh, really sad, some of them are really nice, some of them are really uh, weird. Yeah, this is a good read. One of my favorite books of all time when I was in high school was Shiver. Um, if you guys are into like kind of fantasy, romance, you know, a little bit scary, stuff like that, definitely recommend reading this. If you guys like anything like Twilight, I'm not really that big of a Twilight fan to be honest with you, but it's kind of along the lines of like, you know, He's a werewolf and she falls in love with him and then stuff happens and, but it's really 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 good and this is one of my favorite books well yeah you guys thank you for tuning in this week i really want to make a video with jess soon she's really sick right now so we're just trying to find a day to record a video together before christmas i hope but we'll see how she feels um within the next couple weeks so thank you so much you guys for watching and all the love and support you guys give me click that thumbs up button click the notification bell because i make new videos every week and subscribe to me please i love you guys peace and love